Hey everyone, and welcome to the 98th episode of We're All in the Same Boat. We're back a second time. We tried Woo. so hard to come back, <laughs> and then I got sick. <laughs> yeah. We're back. You back got again. sick, uh, Luke. I, I'm so frustrated because I felt like, okay, the podcast is coming back. I've moved to Miami. I'm ready, and then I just got sick. <laughs> Don't move to Miami, duh. Actually, I got something to say about Florida, but... Ooh. <laughs> So, uh, to catch up really quick. Wait, Luke, have you met oh, Florida man yet? Wait a minute. I didn't even introduce him to the intro. Podcast. I'm your oh. host, Luke Roxwell. <laughs> and today I am here with Shane. Hola. Nick. Yo. And Mike. So did you meet Florida man? No, <laughs> but here's the thing. I realized this, that if I, if I do anything dumb, <laughs> I become Florida man. <laughs> yeah, that's all the do. things that he has done, I have done. So you're I gotta in be Florida careful. and you're yep. yeah, that's true. Yeah, so all those stories you hear about like Florida man wrestles an alligator. <laughs> it's you. Feeds it, it you. a bleh, right? Like all I that just, stuff. I'm gonna assume it's is me. Mm -hmm. If I mess up here. That's kinda cool though, because in all like the crazy feats that he's accomplished, you've also accomplished. And I'm like, and I'm still alive. Florida man <laughs> dies in car accident and I survived. It. <laughs> it's like uh, New York's got nothing on me, man. Florida man has died 87 <laughs> times. Florida okay, is so legit. today we are talking about a bunch of different things, but the main topics are the Joker movie coming out, Birds of Prey, and the vaping death. So we're going to talk about a couple other little things, but those are the main topics. Mm. So now you don't have to wait around to figure out what we're talking about. Okay, yeah. so stick around. Cause let's, let's, let's We're going to talk about so, mono also because you can't yeah, get it yeah. twice. Don't get mono. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Michael. Mono sucks. <sighs> I, I didn't mean to. Well, first, I don't I, understand first of all, it. This is about you. So Luke, <laughs> what sentence what's, what's <laughs> did you have? I had mono. Wow. I got, what? What, crazy. Wait, what, what did you say? What kind of sickness did I have? I just said what sickness because the listeners don't know that you have mono. Mono. So I yeah, kissing and dude, here's the thing. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> Rudy's like, you just sit on that couch and you don't even touch me until you think about. <laughs> that's that's oh right. My goodness. That's right, Rudy. Put him <laughs> in place. We're trying to figure out how I got it because I. I mean, Who just you to kiss? Be honest, dude, I didn't kiss I somebody it. else, Ugh. and Rudy didn't get sick. So I was trying to think. I was like, okay. So here's the thing about mono. When you get mono, uh -oh. um, you get it. You know, through spit, right? And so if you kiss somebody or you, you share a drink with someone, right? That's how you catch it. However, it takes like two to six weeks to actually hit you. So you don't even know that you have it mm -hmm. until two to six weeks afterwards. So then you have like, I had two weeks where I had fevers. I couldn't sleep. Ew. I felt like nauseous and tired. And, and you know, I just thought, okay, I'm just, I'm just a little sick. And so then I started working, you know, and I work remote, so I use a computer, so it wasn't too bad, but I, you know, slowly was noticing my throat was getting sore. And then by week three, worst sore throat I've ever had in my whole life. You can't eat, you can't drink, you can't talk, nope. you can't swallow, you can't sleep. Yeah, that's it's mono. It's miserable. And so Sucks. the thing about it, though, is it just goes on forever. It's like a, I was sick for a month. Yeah. And yeah, then dude. I was trying to figure out, like, how I got sick. And the only thing I came up with, there was a waiter at this restaurant that I went with to or went with Ruji to. Mm -hmm. And I you was kind him? of in a mood. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was in a mood. So I was kind I of in a him. mood and I kissed him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say, so I I was like, I wasn't unpleasant, but I just was hungry and I was ready to eat. And so I asked him what he recommended on the menu. And he pointed out all the most expensive things, which I feel like mm -hmm. That's what they're paid to do. I always wonder mm -hmm. that, you know? Like they're like, yeah. uh, the steak that's $50 is definitely one of the best things. You're like, oh, fine, sure. <laughs> so basically he pointed out all the most expensive things and it was like, I recommend starting with this, then getting this, and then getting this. And then I just was like, no, we're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna get this cheap thing. <laughs> and so then I was like, he was like really rude to us, like just kind of passively, aggressively rude to us the rest of the night. And I was like, what if he got, what if he would, he spit in my drink? Dude, he's spitting your food. I know. <laughs> it's, clear as, it's clear as day, dude. Because that was like a month before I got it. Or he kissed like maybe. your silverware. One or the other. That's <laughs> disgusting. <I> <laughs> we think maybe they didn't like clean one of the glass or something. But don't get mono. It sucks, doesn't it, Michael? Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, mono sucks. Don't it. do it. Knock on apparently, mind. apparently, according to Michael. Dude, mono screwed me he over He did the twice, impossible. Man. That's impossible. Twice? Unless you have a... Nothing's impossible with God, Luke. 
Nothing. That's true. Don't Amen. <laughs> Thanks, Praise God. You yeah, gave dude. me. No, I got screwed over two mono. times. So the first time, I didn't even kiss a girl in my entire life yet. You I drank mono? after my other homeschool friend. Like we were sharing a liter oh. of Pepsi, or two <laughs> liter of Pepsi, like a giant thing of Pepsi, like this holy like weekend at that church, like a youth retreat. And then we both got mono. We were so bummed. We were like, dude, we didn't even kiss girls. This sucks. And then. <laughs> That was when I was like 17. That's the and only then, story I know. I didn't know you got it a second time after that. Yeah, dude. I was so last. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. January. You told me. In, in, yeah. I also was on the podcast for a month California. because I had mono also. Yeah, yeah. I remember. What is wrong with you people? Stop well, kissing thought, everyone. Right, yeah. Nick? I, Come on. I thought, I thought that it, there was two. For some reason, I thought those were both the same time. I don't know why. I thought oh, no. That's, yeah, two different times. So, yeah. Uh, then I got mono again while I was working like. Oh, like in the West Coast. You really, you seriously can't or drink anything. I couldn't drink water. It hurt dude, so yeah, bad. like my, did, you, did wow. your tonsils like cross yeah, your esophagus? Dude, dude, I was, I was so swollen. Life must dude, suck. It was just, it turned your, okay, we're going to get graphic, okay? Remember <laughs> that later in the podcast, we're going to talk about movies. Yikes. Rated but E for explicit right now, folks. Yeah, kids it, run it, away. It, kids run away. It's like your, your, over. <laughs> your tonsils get like four times the size. Like it's so oh, yeah. big and, and they like close up your whole throat and then they're like all white. <laughs> yeah so yeah rough. it's awful it hurts it feels so like you always have like phlegm in your throat you try to cough it up and it's just your body and it just hurts <laughs> like oh it's something in my throat oh it's my throat oh yeah. it's it's the worst it, it makes you want to like I, pop I your tonsils i know yeah you i went know, to the doctor like, and they, they cut them out like, like drain them or something <laughs> but yeah dude you guys are all saying you can't get it twice i i wish you couldn't get it twice i'm not like trying to but I, I went to the doctor and they're like, yeah, you had mono. I was like, yeah, I had mono when I was 17. They're like, well, that's weird. That never happens. I'm like, I know. <laughs> You're like, I know. Now give me the drugs. Actually, Mike you know, it's really funny. <laughs> when I, when I went to the nurse, the nurse was basically like, yeah, you have mono. Like they do a blood test. So like, you have mono. Um, it's really painful. And I was like, okay, cool. So like, are you going to, you know, make me not be as painful? And she's like, just take Tylenol. And I was like, What? I've been taking Tylenol. It still hurts. It's miserable. And she goes, yeah, your life is just going to suck for a week. Goodbye. Just take <laughs> Tylenol? That's what I take for like a minor like, I know. headache. I know. Mono, I want something that's going to like put me out. I know, would take, for days. Um, yeah, I would take Tylenol first thing in the morning and it was miserable. I'd wake up just miserable. I'd take it first thing in the morning and then I had to wait like eight hours or six hours, whatever it was in between dosage. And like that last hour, just waiting to take it again was miserable because it helps with the swelling. Like your throat gets mm -hmm. so swollen. Ooh. And so then by the time you're taking this pill, which is giant, by the way, it's huge. It's like bigger than like four M&Ms. You know, it's Open just huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no throat and it's just, it's miserable. So that's why the podcast has been gone because I just got the plague. We thought you died, really. Everyone really thought you he died. He did die. <laughs> you you kind of did. Yeah. Did you work through that? Yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't have to talk. I just laid in bed and just sat yeah. on my computer and programmed. Mm. You know, um, I do that I took, like I took I work like from one home normally. So well, I got it over the weekend, so I had three days, and then I took a day off, but I kind of spread that day yeah. throughout the week. So it was like six hours, six hours, six hours, or something a day, um, and then maybe a little at night. Um, don't get mono. It's not fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't do it. Ugh. I don't, think I don't plan on it. So. Don't Grant kiss at girls. The, uh, high school. Or don't kiss, don't kiss anything. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't kiss drink their dogs. Water. You can kiss your mom <laughs> on the cheek, but that's it. So, kiss your mom. Let's catch up on some of the stuff that's been going on. I think I have a big topic here that we're really going to want to get into. That is our favorite Ooh. topic. Guess what? Oh, yeah. What? Spider Man is back in the end. Yes, buddy. He's back. <laughs> yes. You know what I feel happened? I feel that Tom. I Holland, told you this would happen, by the way. Listen I to the other podcast. <laughs> I feel like Tom Holland like went into a meeting with Sony and Disney and like they just saw Tom Holland and he probably said something that was really like Tom Hollandy. And they were like, <laughs> you know what? We're gonna do it for Tom. You know what? Yes, put him back in. Give him his two He's, movies. I feel that. He just goes in there being all cute, and they're like, you yeah. know what? Let's, what, what What are we even fighting about? And honestly, kind of like, they probably saw like, the, fan, <laughs> the fan comments, and they said, you know what? Let's not make people hate us. It would be like Sony. <laughs> Sony and, and Disney are like both pissed and like looking at each other, glaring. 
Yeah. And then all of a sudden Tom Holland in and starts doing his thing. And then they <laughs> both look at him and they both slowly start to smile. And then they both look at each other like, oh, you're not so bad. Yeah. Maybe we can do this. <laughs> it's like two parents that got divorced or about to get divorced. And then they're like, let's stay together for the kids. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's what we're not going to talk all about. Right, so yeah, so Spider-Man next, what are we talking about now? <laughs> um, we all saw the It movie. Actually, it oh, mm, was mediocre. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, actually. I thought it was good, but you would shame. It was, it was like um, well, I'm, <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I, just I felt like it was just kind of a, a, a bunch of the same things over and over again. Of mm-hmm. let's make them a was. kid and they get scared. Then let's make them adult and get scared. And it was like this is just kind of yeah. I don't know. It, it felt I thought it gimmicky. was obnoxiously long. It didn't need to be as long as it was. It was like two hours and 45 minutes or something. Yeah, which I didn't know was that long going into it. And I was like, hmm, we are sitting here for a hefty amount of time. This story keeps going. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> I will say this. Uh, Skarsgård was great in this one. I think he was almost better in this one than in the other one. I think he was great in both, but That's I don't Pennywise, know. right? Yeah, I just, yeah. I thought he. I don't remember. I have to watch. The I don't first know. One again, I thought they I gave. I this was just long. Better. I thought the they gave him better material in the first one, but I thought right. his performance was better in the second one. Yeah, yeah. The first movie awesome. felt very creative. This one felt. Yeah, the second one. He, they showed him like too much, so he wasn't as creepy to me. Like I'm, I'm very new to it. Like I watched the first one maybe like a couple of weeks before I saw the second one. And so I I was very more spooked and creeped out in the first one than I was the second one because he was kind of just there. Like we saw him all the time and like it kind of takes away, I think, the scare factor. Right. Right. It's like, oh, there's Pennywise think, again, an old friend. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see. I didn't think it one was really a was scary movie. You know, it was just kind of like yeah. a tense movie. Like well, not like scary, the, but I'm oh, I'm easily spooked. Like I do want to talk about the <laughs> the most tense part in that movie was the the, the Chinese food scene, the, the part when they're uh, doing the fortune. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, it was you know the Jew the Jew kid when he has oh, yeah. like that, when oh. his head gets cut off and it turns into that spider. Yeah, yeah that oh, was wild. Oh man, that was rough. I, I that that was probably the the most tense part for me in that whole movie. That was cool. Um, I, it I was thought, creepy. It was very, th- very yeah. uh, the thing, you know, like the movie. Oh yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like uh, things where they aren't supposed to be, like fucking legs coming out yeah, of his head like that. that. Something's weird. <laughs> Michael, you yeah. didn't see this movie, did you? No, I didn't. I was too scared. Oh, <laughs> it's actually not that scary. <laughs> yeah, definitely not as good as de- the first. It one, depends it's, on it's right. how it's easily spooked you are. Yeah, like there is no. Oh, oh, the effects oh, okay, are good. Michael. Yeah, I wasn't reason. actually like I don't I'm remember being spooked. like, like oh my gosh, and it, like I don't like scream, but like I was not into those kind of movies. But whenever you make a a sequel of a movie that's like really creative and cool, the sequel is always terrible because they're just trying to do the exact well, same thing. It's again. not a sequel. Right. It is tricky on this one. Yeah, yeah it wasn't. A, it was just the other part of the story. Part because two. It, the book. Is yeah, yeah, the book is really a two lengthy. part book. Like the book is yeah. bigger than the Bible. Oh, so it's so the yeah, and it's yeah. A yeah. There's, there is a lot in there. So, so this movie was still from the book. Yeah, so the yeah. book, I basically the book has long, them as man. kids. You watch one in the first a, yeah. part. Hold up. So the first part has the kids, and then the mm-hmm. second part of the book is 27 years later, where they come back to finish the whole story, and so the movies break up in the same places. However, it does feel like a sequel. Like I didn't see any turtle with the earth on its back. Do you know about that, Nick? Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? It's like the god and the so the god yeah. like apparently of the universe. A, yeah, apparently there's like a turtle with the, the world on it with with something on its back. I remember. It's that a weird like, book, man. Well, the, uh, like the whole thing on cocaine. The I turtle the created like a spirit of like good and a spirit of like chaos, and it is the ca- spirit of chaos. And basically, he just goes places and just beats chaos. Uh, so there's like a whole mythology behind it. Oh yeah, yep. it's weird. It's weirdly deep. That book is 1,100 pages long. Goodbye. <laughs> I think Moby Dick is is less pages than that, dude. And that's yeah, like a long, long book. It's a long book. He, and I think someone, I think he basically admitted to writing the whole thing while he was on cocaine. 
<laughs> dude, no wonder he's got so many weird like <laughs> scenes in that book, dude. Yeah. There's like apparently like a weird thing with the kids. You know like, what's really have- disappointing, actually? Like I wanted to review this movie and I had a friend who read the whole book that I was trying to get on the podcast, Ooh. but then I got sick and it all yeah, fell Yeah, I could have brought someone on he for that. He could have he could have told us about that weird scene with the kids. Apparently, there's like a weird sex thing. I don't know. Oh, in the book? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, girl, the girl has sex they all with have all the sex. guys. Jeez. They all have sex like in the tunnel yeah, or whatever. It's weird. I have my suspicions about what's his name being a pedophile because that stuff is weird. He does weird yeah, stuff like, like that. It's like and they're... It's like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, then when they change that... When I'm like, I was, you know... Everyone watching that movie was like, thank God that they decided to yeah. just He's make someone them cut their don't hands. Because because they want to get mono they from. Know there's a lot of kids. <laughs> oh my because goodness. you'll get mono more than once. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get mono from Stephen King all over. Well, I think they also know too that even though you know it's rated R and it's all that good jazz, they know a lot of kids watch like watch the first one. So I think they took that into consideration too. Kids, kids gangbanging each other is not rated R. That's rated illegal. <laughs> I know. That's what yeah, I'm, I know. That that's what I'm saying. But that's <laughs> why it's like, I can't believe that's in the You can still like allude to it though. They didn't even allude to it. It's just like straight up sex. I can't believe that's in the book. I've never read the book. I just know that that's in it. All right. Just Page watch. 400. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm He's like, I got it bookmarked. <laughs> Apparently, Nick has, like, like, Nick has like the page like, like what drugs well. <laughs> were you on, sir, when you wrote uh, this part of the book? Cocaine. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, oh, speaking my, of cocaine. my buddy. Well, I was just gonna say, my buddy who read the book, <laughs> he says it's it was one of the scariest moments like of his life was reading what? that book. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Well, or maybe it was the wait. Maybe it was The Shining. I can't remember. Oh my <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I may have effed that up. I think it was The Shining. That like scared him to death. Shining is that scary? Yeah. The movie is cor- Here's the thing about Stanley K- Kubrick, like you know the director of The Shining. I've watched a couple of his movies, and he's regarded as such this like iconic director. Everyone like in film school worships him. Every single movie I've seen of his is, if you watch it for real, they're really cheesy and corny. I liked I just, Clockwork Orange though. Ugh. That movie's so corny, though, and it's really like you have to think about like the timing, though, of when <sighs> when something like that happened. They're always talking like this, and you're like, "What is this? <laughs> Shakespeare play?" And it's like, "No, no, it's dramatic. No, it's not. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it's corny and weird." I don't know. I can go off on that guy because I just think it's just silly. So, iPhone Pro. That's the other thing we want to get to. We got to Boom. try to get through some of these Sorry. topics. <laughs> So we can get to the main topic. I'm just so glad that I decided to stick with Android because that yeah. phone is disgustingly ugly. Well, not the phone, the camera. I might be joining you, Shane. I might I'm be joining you. I don't know it's ugly. It's just it's got not, a wide angle it's camera. Not though. The, it's not it pleasing a, to the eye. It has a wide angle camera. I understand that. Awesome. Awesome. did it but better. I have a Samsung Galaxy um, S10 like Plus, better. which also has three cameras and a wide camera. It's all nice in a row Flush. on the back of my phone not in a weird triangle illuminati thing in a tiny little corner <laughs> that is Stupid not design. visually pleasing to the eye why would anyone be proud of owning that phone <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I i mean yeah that's pretty mean i'm probably gonna get it because i want that phone. <laughs> you want to stay in the and apple Luke, ecosystem i don't know dude i'm just i don't care i don't really want to figure well, out dude, okay if, if, if you it, don't care about that it, stuff, then yeah, sure. Yeah. But I you're care in it, about like, like stuff everything in it. works that I yeah. need to work in an iPhone. Now there are some issues with Disgusting. it. Disgusting. But Can't every single it. person that tries to sell me on Android's like, dude, let me show you this really cool thing that Apple can't do. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, <laughs> and it's like that's it. That's all I ever see. And so uh, everything an iPhone does, an Android does, and everything an Android does, an iPhone pretty much does. It's like they're pretty close to the same and then Everyone's this one hooks up to my computer other. i think I everything think android that, is obviously more customization that's the only real i don't want that i, I don't i want it all to be the yeah, same yeah. If, you don't care, if you don't care about that then there's no point yeah actually hold right. so michael, thing, go ahead hey, michael here's go thing. first here is the thing <laughs> everything <laughs> that iphone does that android does iphone kind of does it better because iphone is like made for a certain kind of phone so every time Anything they make an app that's like integrated yeah like what does that even mean Hold okay, on. so when you're making it, a, it means yeah, go ahead. When you're making a software, if you're making it for multiple different um, devices, you have to like make it kind of 
basic enough that all the devices can like use it. You have to have room for all the different like ways that they control things, all the buttons they have available, mm-hmm. all the like the commands, right? Like, Luke, oh, this son, phone doesn't have a smart. back button or something. Yeah, yeah. So, but when you make it just for all one, like, all one system, like all iPhones are basically the same. It's very so specific. So the to program that. is like perfectly works on iPhone. Mm-hmm. Everyone that I know who like is in the creative like world. Even like, though they go get an iPhone just to like make like because they make really sweet quick graphics randomly, or they can make really good demos on their phone really fast for five dollars with GarageBand. Like, mm-hmm. even though a lot good. of people complain about iOS, so I don't know about it working all the time. It doesn't. The only work thing about iOS time. is that they they restrict random things. That's the only thing I care about that okay. bothers me about iOS. Let me let me say this. So one of the things a lot of people don't talk about when they're comparing when they're the comparing. When they are comparing the two different phones, Android versus iPhone, is that when everyone you know has an iPhone, you learn how to do so many cool things because you all have the same phone and you all figure out different things and you all show each other how to do it. So the issue with Android, and this always happens with Android, is someone's like, oh, look, you can just airdrop whatever the Android version (laughs) of that is to some to that. And it's like, cool, that's awesome. Show me how to do it on my phone. Oh, you don't have a Samsung. It's not the button's not there, and you can't. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> and and because because they're different, they're different phones, and that's irritating yeah. to me. Because then it's like I, I never know if someone can actually do it with an iPhone. It's like you have an iPhone. Okay, yeah, I can just air drop it to you, or I yeah. can I can flip this. To, I can the right. Yeah. Plus, you know how everyone, you know how everyone their phone was, works. And everyone the text message present. groups are blue. Exactly. Yes, dude. And everyone, they, everyone, everyone I know has an Android. <laughs> They never text. They only Facebook Messenger. Literally, I don't know. I don't know anybody That's who texts sad. like. That's so I text sad. Conversations. Wait, wait, wait! You said everyone who has Android is what? They always use Facebook Messenger. None of them use text messages because oh, they like half the time they don't even get them. Yep. Yeah, I will say that. I it will sucks. say about the text the messages. Is part. The that text. is true. There's lots Ruin of times the where I just won't get notifications. Shane. Shane, you have a you have an Android. Nick, you have an Android, right? No, I have iPhone. I I switched to the light side. It's just a hater. You have an iPhone. He hates no matter what side he's on. I, Hold up. Well, well, that's true. Hold I, up. I don't on. really like my iPhone. So you have an iPhone, right, Michael? <laughs> I have an Michael. iPhone. Yeah, I haven't switched okay. over yet. Shane, you. Yes. If we put a group, you would make it green. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> it's the worst, Trust me. dude. I hate I know. it. My, my entire family. Person. My entire family has iPhone. Trust me, I know. Oh, you know what that worst. means? That means when they go to thumbs up your message, which I do all the time on iPhone, uh, it just sends, you know what it does? It sends a it text sends that says, a text message. Luke yep. Roxwood liked colon and then puts the whole thing. I still sure do does. that. I, I, I annoy people that. with that. I don't even care. I hate you people. I'm like, screw you guys, you Android people. <laughs> I do it anyway. Just to annoy them. Get a freaking iPhone so we can chat. That's the thing. <laughs> I used to I, have an iPhone, and iPhone I switched has, for a reason. <laughs> iPhone has the monopoly on the messaging quote-unquote market, and that's what they're yes. milking is yeah. all this crap with, like, Bitmoji and Memoji and, like, Which, that is uh, kind of cool. Like, like, the iPhone, like, the phones themselves aren't impressive. The OS itself is really simple, but they have a monopoly on the messaging market, and what do you use phones for? Calls and texts. I think they're more like... It's a community based thing. Like it's what like Luke clicky. was saying. Well, it's like, 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 like a cult. The more there's people, a cult around iPhones. Someone, there, yes, there was somebody was that saying. said a fax machine by itself is worth nothing. But the more people that have a fax machine, the more expensive it gets, right? That's like the, the pr- more it's valuable. Yeah. And that's the way it works. So like when more that's of your friends iMessage. have iPhones, it's like it makes everybody happier. It makes it worth more because now I can do all these cool things, right? Mm-hmm. By the way, I want to say something real quick. You said Bitmoji. And it made me think of Bitcoin. <laughs> and so I wanted to tell you this, uh, Nick. I bought a little bit of a cryptocurrency to see if I could do anything with it. Which one? Mm-hmm. Uh, Ethereum. So I bought oh, I'm it. Sorry. I <laughs> bought it as it was falling and it just kept falling. <laughs> I mean, so, that, so I mean, no, hold on. Like, hear me out. Hear me out. So it kept yeah. falling and I was like, no, 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 it's going to go back up. And I put a little bit more money into it and it just kept falling. <laughs> and so I was at like negative 80 bucks. Like I just lost the money just like that. And so then I was like, I'm never doing this again. As soon as it goes back to zero, like if it swings back up, as soon as I break even, then I'm just going to cash out and be done. I'm never doing cryptocurrencies again. So it went back to zero. And then I was like, well, maybe it's going to go up higher. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so then I got greedy. <laughs> yep. And it got up to like plus 50. Like I made 50 bucks. I was like, yeah, but like, I mean, let's just see. Let's see if it slows down and then I'll cash out. And then it fell. 
<laughs> oh man. It's so funny because it keeps happening because every time it gets to zero, I'm like, I start getting greedy again. No, I understand. Like so the whole thing with cryptocurrency there. is you hold it forever until mm-hmm. the s- state of our economy collapses. That's the whole idea, right? So then yeah, but one Bitcoin, most... it's like ten thousand dollars. Well, it's like eight thousand dollars now. Bit one, one. Bitcoin's eight eight thousand bucks, but people are saying Dang. it could go to like four hundred, five hundred thousand. Like that's the thing. If it, if if it were to become like a primary cryptocurrency, then everyone would want it, and the supply. I should have gotten in the game back early, back when it was a bad idea. But it's a huge <laughs> bet. That's why I, mean, I don't gotta, have. I barely have any money in the crypto market, just because it's just like it's so risky. But it's like I, I mean, know. if you got. It's yeah. too, I told my it's friend, like, he was like, you should put money into stocks and let it grow slowly. And I was like, I know, but I want to be rich now. I know, that's, <laughs> and that's, and that's <laughs> so I true. I want to be rich now. I want to get yeah. rich fast. That's the mm-hmm. problem. But here's the thing, that. though. Like, if you, like, we, we might still be, like, in the cheapest moment of, bit, of Bitcoin. If we, like, invest. You never know. Bit, yeah, if we invest now, we might be super rich in, like, 10 years. Or we might not at all. But now it's, like, risky, though, because now it's, like, Eighteen thousand dollars for one Bitcoin, but it's like, yeah, it's also worth like eighteen thousand dollars. So that kind of makes sense. It's just it's too uh, it's too common knowledge now. Everyone's like trying to swoop in, yeah, and, and talk about pull their time. money out as soon as it drops. It's just I don't know. I think I'm gonna literally rip all my money out of my stocks and just put it into like I'm gonna give it to a financial advisor and be like, go do something with this. <laughs> hey, I'll share some information with you, uh, but not anybody I, else on the podcast. I started, my portfolio value started at, let's see, $128. So I had about $128 in crypto. Right now I have $46. Awesome. (laughs) So I have gone all the way down, but again, I barely invested anything in this market. And I have Ethereum, uh, Ripple, and Bitcoin. We'll see what happens with that, but it's just... Honestly, it's kind of nonsense to me. Like, I don't, I don't really get it. I, I don't think anyone really gets it. Magic money, <laughs> magic money that just exists somewhere. We should do it. We should do an episode on on cryptocurrencies. I, wait, maybe. Oh, I could talk. I could talk ages about it. Honestly, I know. I know it's too weird, much about just it. Just imaginary money. So, guess what movie comes out on Friday? <laughs> <laughs> the Joker. Oh, oh I was just say Harley Quinn. Well, no. Harley Quinn. <laughs> the Joker movie. Are Same thing. Are you guys excited? Oh, sorry, you cut um, off for a second. I'm stoked. I want to go see it. I mean, no. I'm actually, well, I'm actually like wondering, like, is, okay, so like the Joker is happening, but we have Jared Leto's Joker happening. Are they connected? <sighs> like, I'm really confused. And is Harley Quinn involved but with do we, Joaquin Phoenix? Do we really have Jared Leto's Joker? Do we really want to admit oh, that that even exists? We can have that. Was that what, did, we t- did we talk about Suicide Squad? Did, I know I've ranted that happened? about it before. Uh, the original? Yeah. It, 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 is there, it's, not, it's not a new one, is there? Well, the no, one with Jared Leto. The one that just came out like a couple years no. ago. No, okay. So I know we've talked. I know I have ranted okay. about that movie okay. before. I, I don't. Yeah, we've talked about know. it before on the podcast. Well, it's, it's Wait, crap. Have, we all know that. But anyway, go on. They have 15 different intro that. songs in the first five <laughs> minutes of the movie. <laughs> just it's just like they used all the songs that they had ideas for. Let's just use them all. It was very colorful for no reason. I hate it. <laughs> anyway, every, on. every scene in okay, now you got me started. Every Spider-Man. scene in Suicide Squad <laughs> that could have been amazing, they made it into a montage. Like the scene Look, with We're talking with, about the Joker. We're talking about the Joker. <laughs> you bring up old wounds. <laughs> Dude, it's such a bad movie though. I get it, but we're talking about the yes. Joker. Yes. Anyway. So the Joker is coming out and I'm pretty excited yes, it for it. Apparently it's good. Like a lot of people are saying it's good. And I really want it, but I like I really want it to stand out. I don't want it to just be like quote unquote good, good. Like oh, it's good, it's good, right? <laughs> I want it. I don't want to forget it. Like it could be a good movie that you forget. That's what yeah. I'm afraid it's going to be. Like I'm hearing Todd Oscar Phillips noms, dude. The director, and, really? <sighs> I'm hearing, uh, dude. I'm hearing Oscar noms for what? Like, like, for like so? yeah, dude. For freaking Joaquin. I'm, I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm hearing the hype right now, and it's Let's getting me Joaquin. hype, and I'm kind of worried. But <laughs> apparently, Joaquin is super picky with with scripts, man. So I don't he know. Like, I don't actor. think you're gonna forget this. Yeah, he's very talented. Yeah, and no I one can deny so. that. Like I you can so. acknowledge, like a movie like her is so freaking weird, but oh, it's a good movie. I love her. Yeah. Her right, it's a good movie. Of all time. I still yeah. haven't seen it. It's Dude, on what? Netflix. What? I know it's on Netflix. Wait. And then I was with Ruji. I was, you want to watch this? And she goes, no. 
Dude, it's amazing. It'll, it'll, it'll make you cry. It'll, it'll make you laugh. It'll make you feel things that right before, before we review Joker or something. Uh, like Joaquin Phoenix no. marathon. I, and, I can make. I can try and watch it. With well, it depends on what your or current alone. feelings are. And Scarlett Johansson are right now because that's that might ruin the movie for you. Wait, really? Why? She's a big part of it because right? she's. Well, the I know other she's the voice star in the movie. Yeah. She's Fun fact. Robot. Well, it she's been very controversial lately. I don't know if you have opinions on her. Wait, she's been. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact: It was going to be Rashida Jones, but they thought Scarlett Johansson had a more effective voice for the tone they were going for. What is Rashida Jones now? again? Now I'm looking her up. Parks and Rec. Oh, the yeah. Karen from uh, Office. Oh yeah, the one that Jim doesn't like. Yeah. Oh yeah, her. She has a I huge voice. Time. I don't have time to figure out what Scarlett Johansson. She's doing. a hottie with a body. Oh, she's just <laughs> defending Woody Allen, even though everyone, you know is talking bad about him. Okay. So the Joker movie has got a little bit of controversy behind it because people are coming out after the Dark Knight Rises shooting and saying, Mm -hmm. hey, you know, somebody went nuts and shot up a bunch of people in the movie theater and the people that are dead from that didn't come back. We're still like here being sad about these people and now you're making this movie that's kind of glamorizing someone similar to the person that shot up our our friends and our children and right so i don't know yeah. I, I i heard about this and i don't know what to think or where the line is on that because yeah. it's a character he's been around forever and so it's like what are you That's gonna so make the movie dumb down it's like this is the right. it's i don't so i was talking about this the other day kind of because movies and shows don't exist like as just what they are anymore like it's it's tied into real life now like literally nothing can come out without somebody complaining about like the actresses the actors like some drama going on in it or like the people writing it have to adjust their script based on like things are happening in real life to not to offend anybody this is a different Uh, deal but it's still weird and frustrating i mean it happens with tarantino like all the time and i do the kind of thing it's funny because well he's mega weird like he's like well he's just like they're like, do you think that the violence in your movies is inspiring people? Or do you think you should put movie? I don't know. He's just like, screw yeah. you. It's my movie. I'll do whatever I want. It's a movie. Exactly. Go away. Like, I don't know. I, I can understand. I mean, it's not necessarily someone's fault if someone else wants to kill people because they saw a movie. Exactly. I, yeah, I don't Luke. think it's your fault. I'm, I'm trying Mike, to. Sorry. <laughs> Hold up. So here's what I'm wrestling with. It, a movie could be used as a ter- like a kind of rhetoric to influence people in a certain direction. And so if I make a speech in front of a bunch of people that uses rhetoric and tools to glamorize something awful and then it inspires them all to go run out into the streets and set things on fire and flip over cars, am I responsible for that? No. I don't think I'm individually responsible, but I also am like, so I don't know. That one's tricky because people are so sheepy. I like this quote from the critic at Vox. I hate Vox, but I love this critic. I know. I was like, (laughs) wait, it's like a Vox. (laughs) And she has this, this quote. uh, She was talking about once upon a time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino. And she said, if filmmakers are expected to constantly answer for the worst things their audiences might ever think, no art of value would ever get made. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just like at the base, at the center of what's going on, it's art and it means something. And that's what people seem to forget when they apply it to their super specific, I don't know, narrative Mm -hmm. or whatever. But it's like, I don't know. I don't think Todd Phillips or Quentin Tarantino need to answer for what people think from their movies. But yeah, it's kind of. I feel like it's a little bit heartless to like make a movie and then have someone accusing you of of like you're part of the reason these bad things happen. Like, can you imagine someone's doing that to you? Like walking up to you and be like, "Hey, because of that drum solo you did, yeah, my <laughs> yeah. son's dead." You know, you're like, I "What? I never meant for that to happen. I'm just trying to make a good movie that people want to see." And if you look yeah. at the box office, people want to see it. I don't know what to tell you. Like, people could say the same thing about like Fight Club. Like, right. oh, they made Fight Club, and it did make fighting seem really cool. I'm not going to lie. When the movie there was over, I was like, I want to go fight people now. <laughs> you know? Like, it, it did glamorize it. But, mm, I, I just, like, movies. I don't know. I've 
I feel like it, when directors take risks is when great art is made. And I feel like if we try and contain or like sterilize that, I don't know, the creativity aspect because people are afraid. I mean, Todd Phillips said he left comedy because he felt like he was too stifled. I mean, he made old school and now he's like, I don't think I can make old school kind of thing. It's just what, like, wait, I, what do you mean old school? Like the movie old school. If you've seen oh, that. I, no, I actually never seen that movie. It's one of the most, it's like American pie on steroids. It's just ridiculous. Mm. And it's, it's really funny. Will Ferrell's great. But like, he says, I couldn't, I don't think I can make old school like nowadays. Like people, you know, people criticize the office for being racist and sexist. It's like, mm-hmm. could a show like the office exists nowadays? And it seems to be a cultural. <laughs> it's so stupid because like backlash. the office was racist or sexist because it was making fun of racist and sexist people. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like exactly. Michael was like this guy with good intentions, but he wasn't that always was, the greatest like, person. Like, like that was the point of the movie. You missed, you missed the joke. <laughs> like, like, like idiots. You missed it'd be the like joke. if I said, Hey guys, racists are bad people. Am I right? And it's like, Whoa, that was racist. You said a thing about racist. That's racism. And it's like, exactly. I said they were bad. What? I don't understand this. I don't like, know. I, I, I watch but, all those movies that are like, all the Tarantino movies, it's like, oh, it all, it glamorizes violence. The Matrix glamorizes violence. Or like, Ugh, I'm like, come I'm like, on. But, all these movies are so cool. I know. It's like, dude, I love watching The Matrix. <laughs> dude, I'll watch it any day of the week. But I'm, I'm still kind of, I'm kind of torn though because, well, not super torn, but like, yeah, like that's when like who likes art and who makes art, like I don't want people to be able to tell me what to do or tell other artists what to do. But at the same time, when you have so much influence, you do have a responsibility to uh, be careful about that's how That's where it's tricky because I don't know. I don't know. Because like not every movie has to be like super like social justice-y and like make everyone feel good because there's like eight black people in the movie and like there's a gay superhero or something. <laughs> but like... I, thought, I literally thought you were going to say there's a gay. <laughs> <laughs> there's just one gay. You know, but like... At the same time, I think, I don't know, with, with superhero stuff, like a lot of kids watch it. So you do have to be careful about it. And like, since they're having like actual shooting space on this movie, you have to be careful about that. It's a weird place. It's, right. a, it's, a, it's an impossible yeah, problem. What happens it's like, when... I made this movie. It's just a movie. I didn't do anything wrong. Like nothing about the movie is wrong. What happens if someone watched my film Thread and they went off and murdered someone? It's like, what? Well, yeah. Your fault. That was messed up. So that's now your, I have to be responsible for the no, death not, of somebody no, because no. because no. I made a, a movie that involved a killing. You you're know, not responsible for other people's actions. Yeah, individuals are responsible for their own actions. Like, so I, don't know, I know it's just ridiculous. Oh. It's a ridiculous notion that someone needs to pay. Like, yeah, but that's what social media has given people the power to think that they can do that to other people. They do it true. all the time. It's true. Because yeah. like, I'll like, ruin your career, can... cancel them. Yeah, what is that cancel culture? Yeah, that's silly, I know that's that silly ridiculous. Thing. With some of the stuff that we're talking about, I can compare a small example like my own film mm-hmm. to a large scale example like The Joker, and say, "Well, why are we comparing? Why are we doing this with The Joker when we don't do it with my film? If it was to happen with my film, right? Like, what if we can't do it with this one? We shouldn't do it with this one." Mm-hmm. However, what I'm trying to think about, just realistically, playing devil's advocate a little bit, does the scale, like the scale of the, excuse me, the scale of the film as it goes up and the number of people that are watching it and the number of, oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to think through it realistically and I don't really have an answer other than, I, you know, I don't hold them responsible. I don't think it's fair to do that. But well, it's like, I, I think also the idea, get, get it yeah. too, I guess. Like why they, you know, if I made a movie that really radicalized a lot of people and was like, no, it's just a movie. And it's like, yeah, but you did inspire them to, I would never say that to anyone. That's the thing. <laughs> I would never say what I'm saying right now to anybody, but, yeah, but I, I get why people can think it, but I also don't agree with it. And that's, I don't know. I don't know. I just think the idea that this art can be interpreted in such a simple way is a very naive way to understand art in itself and to think that the Joker is just instantly inspiring people to like commit mass so, murder is a very silly and very surface level. Right. Yeah. I think for sure it should be like, you should, Oh, go ahead, Shane. 
No, I was gonna say because this same thing happened when uh, Thirteen Reasons Why came out like the first season and a lot of people were trying to say well this show is just going to encourage people to commit suicide i'm like i watched the show and i felt no encouragement to commit suicide and my argument was you know and with all due respect to people who you know do commit suicide and who have these thoughts um my (laughs) argument was i just disclaimer my argument was if they were going to commit suicide, they were already going to commit suicide. The show is not going to be like, oh, yep, that's it. I watched this show. Let me go kill myself. I'm like, no, they would have already had to have been far enough where they were already going to do it anyways for that to happen. The same thing with this. No one's going to watch, sit down in a movie and watch The Joker or whatever, some movie that's mass killing. And you know what? Oop, I'm going to go kill a bunch of people now. Right. It's like that no, person they would have already had those yeah. sleep. Like they actually, already had that those thoughts in them already. Yeah, but Shane, actually, in that case, there actually, there actually were a lot of like copycats for thirteen, 13 reasons yeah, why, but, especially in yeah, teenagers. Yeah, but they were. Wait, what? The, Sorry. The show. Okay. There, so oh, if Shane, somebody, there, were, there were actually a lot of copycats. Like a lot of kids did commit suicide because of thirteen reasons why. I know, but it wasn't like it wasn't there at all. Then they watched the show and that put it there. Those yeah, kids were not I mean. doing well in general. Yeah, suicide, they didn't, suicide they didn't do it because oh, oh, oh. of the show. Right. Well, the the show might have inspired them to do it a certain way, but more than yeah. likely, they weren't right in the head already. They already were having these thoughts and they were struggling with this stuff. And then the show, like if I, okay. It's just a so, tipping point. Okay. I, let's say this. I watch Pirates of the Caribbean and I see a pirate get hung and then like, I'm like, oh, well that's a way to die and if i you know was to do that and this is dark i know but like if i was to do that it's like oh pirates of the caribbean is to blame because it gave him the idea of how to do it and it's like well yeah the thought was there before well, i was yeah, taught yeah. a way to do it no matter like, if, if you depict like death or suicide like you're good like the reason 13 reasons why was popular is because the subject was a suicide like that was yeah. the so not it was in the subject line and so people tuned in for that reason but if you include a suicide or even a death in your movie and someone's prone to that, they're going to, it doesn't matter what context. Wait, I don't like, understand what you're saying. Like if you're prone to suicide and you watch a movie and like you said, like it's Pirates of the Caribbean, but some guy hangs himself or you watch A Star is Born, spoiler alert, and yeah. you see that, right? Like and you're prone to suicide, like that's going to, insp- it's a story that they're telling, but it's going to inspire suicide. Same mm-hmm. thing in this case with like mental illness in regards to mass, as horrible as it sounds, mass murder. I do feel like <laughs> this like, is so weird. This is such a weird topic think, because there's yeah, so many different things inspires, that are in movies. Yeah, I don't know. I think though, movies are convoluted and complicated. But what if parents and people just like monitor the stuff that they and their kids watch? What a concept! Personal well, responsibility. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in like, this day and age, yeah, like, Michael, I think we're saying good points, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, also they could just not watch it. <laughs> yeah, what like, well, that stuff too. And most things, I what I think is that, and what a lot of people have been doing lately is that they've been giving very much good warnings before movies or shows. It'll give a little warning to say, like, "Hey, just so you know, this is about this, or this might encourage this, or whatever." So if you go through these things, you might not want to watch. Now, if you continue to watch past the warnings that they give you, I don't think that you the show or the movie or the filmmaker should be held at any responsibility. Well, I, and honestly, um, they're just it, telling a story. The word, it's funny because the word for this Sorry, is really. a trigger. And it's just funny. Cause like mm-hmm. triggered yeah. or like the, the therapist word for it is a trigger. It's something that sets you off. And like, if it, if it was suicide or if it was violence mm-hmm. or if it was whatever, it's like, if you're an adult, like if you're a kid, it's another thing. If you're on, a, if you're a kid, it's on your parents. Like I think that uh, a kid should be raised because a kid is just like this dumb thing that just walks around. One thousand like, percent. The, the parents yeah. need to be raising the kid correctly, and if the parent isn't raising the kid correctly, the kid is in big trouble, right? Mm-hmm. So um, that's a whole nother topic. But if you are an adult, yes. it is your responsibility to figure out what you can't take and then avoid it. You know, yep. if if I was like, oh, I don't, I can't see my trigger. I don't know. My trigger is sexy girls. I just, I can't do it. I go insane. <laughs> it's horrible for me, right? <laughs> then it's like, so take down 
all these billboards because yeah. I can't do it. It's like, it's on me. It's my problem, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so as yeah. an adult, it's like, screw you. You figure it out. You know, and I hate to be that harsh, but you can ask for help. That's you can true. ask your friends for help. You can, you can go to a therapist, uh, like whatever. But ultimately, you stomping around saying everyone needs to fix this for me doesn't mm. really get you. Yeah. Anywhere. I think also not. though, well, as this kind of recommendation and a thought when there's movies or video games, whatever that you think might trigger you, it's actually lots of sites you can look up that tell you exactly what's in it. There's even a good one. It's actually a Christian mm-hmm. one. It's called plugged in online. And like, they basically break down like drug and alcohol references, like violence, like suicide, like stuff, sexual stuff. Like actually breaks everything down. Hmm. So if you guys, I think it's plugged in dot com. It'd be really good for, uh, for kids or like parents well, yeah, of but kids. See, yeah, they should in, talk about that com. stuff more. Check I haven't even, I've never mm-hmm. even heard of anything like that. Oh yeah, I but see, no one talked about these things. I think uh, IMDb actually has a section. Oh, they have. Oh, yeah, it's got like a parental guidance advisory yeah. thing. People who don't have parents, guide yourself. <laughs> Look it that's up. Right. Yeah, <laughs> parents in a lot of ways. That's that's a thing. Oh, go ahead, Shane. Oh, no, I, no, I was going to say, parents these days just chuck an iPad or, you know, these days they just go to Verizon and get their kids iPhones. That's a whole different topic, though. Um, Oof, and they just yeah. log into their Netflix and YouTube because they know exactly how it works and they just do whatever. The parents don't... I've I've been to people's houses who have kids and I've seen them not monitor their kids whatsoever. And I've seen nuts. the kids just on YouTube. They know every single button. They That's know how nuts. to search. And the kid is like two years old i'm like why does your kid know how to do this <laughs> the thing too is uh, i heard this said on a podcast recently There's they no- said um when you're a kid you know you have your parents that kind of police you and teach you and help you and and guide you and then going from being a kid to being adult is basically you becoming your own parent because it's like now <laughs> yeah. it's on you right if you don't right, think it's right, good right. to watch this you don't watch throw it. your TV away if you have to. Like it's up to you. Like yeah, you have to your figure out at that point what you can handle and what you can do. Yeah. And that's it. If I can't play a violent video game without being pissed the rest of the day and snapping at my friends, then, then the maybe I have to be my own parent and say, I can't play this now. I've right. shown that like like think about a parent having a conversation with a kid where the parents like you're showing me that you're not responsible enough to handle this video game, so we're not going to allow you to play it anymore. Now, imagine an adult having the same conversation with themselves, going, I've shown myself that I'm not responsible enough to handle this, and so mm-hmm. I miss out now. I don't get to do that thing anymore because yeah. I've shown that I can't handle it. You know? Adulthood. Yeah. So we're right. afraid. I, I will so say is, I, I hate adulting. Adulting by Luke. <laughs> <laughs> adulting hey, does, adulting suck. does suck. So, <laughs> Wait, so what if I suck. decide that I'm old enough and mature enough to go see Joker, and I go see it, <laughs> and someone shoots me because uh, they are crazy about the Joker? Well, that would be worse than Mono. Sure. <laughs> well, I don't know. And actually, you can't die say. twice. So let's move on. <laughs> yeah, that, we officially um, found worse than mono. I know. I thought about that. Like, do I want to see the midnight midnight release of this film? <laughs> I don't know. No, it's kind of sad, right? I but I don't have a fake I, I midnight release and invite all the, the murderers to that one. If the Joker was even getting released, we still think, think that. that it's not the Joker that's we should be worried about. I think that's ultimately what we're <laughs> saying. I think, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. not afraid of the Joker. I could fight him. I'm Dude, afraid of people that like the Joker. Honestly, like I'm hearing like so many good things about this movie. I'm going. I'm probably going to go opening night. Cross. Okay. So next topic: Birds of Prey. What? What? What movie is that? The Harley Quinn movie. Read the whole title, Luke. <laughs> oh, what's the other? I don't know. What the rest, I didn't write it down. <laughs> the Emancipation like eight, of se- eight sentences of long. one Harley Quinn. Oh, the Fantabulous Emancipation. Is it really the fantabulous? Yes, sir. Emancipation. They did that because no one. That's such a pretentious, a pretentious uh, title. You're you're pretentious. That's how I know I'm an expert. Well, I looked (laughs) it up because I was not the word. I looked up the director of this film because I wanted to see like is this going to be good? I don't know. And her name is Kathy Yan, and she's actually from China, and she worked for the L.A. Times and the Wall Street Journal before going to film. Uh, her last film was Dead Pigs, which got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it was only eight reviews. 
So that means that's still people promising. Are Not a bad yeah. ratio. Yeah. No, it's fine. Um, looks better than Suicide Squad. It does. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it kind of reminds yeah. me of like the girl Ghostbusters. Yeah. I. It yeah, could it be has that great. Vibe. Just don't preach at me with Harley Quinn. Just don't <laughs> weirdly know? girl it up. <sighs> I feel like. I feel like with Ghostbusters, they were just so adamant about bashing guys. Why do you feel that they're preaching? Okay, well, this is my question. I didn't say they are. I feel like I've said this before. They're going to be like, oh, this is like the quirky Tumblr girl. And look at all the men (laughs) who stomp her down. Like, I just don't need I feel like I've said this many times when we talk about movies. Luke. This movie is not made for you. It is made for women. I who don't care see who it's no. made for. I'm allowed yeah, to have an opinion good, yes, on what I, I know think you about point. it. Shane's I know a good you, point. No, no, I know you're allowed to have an opinion, but you get so angry. Look, you have to just realize it's just not made for you. Yeah, like they don't so care that you're job. ranting. They're no, laughing at you ranting. Your, I don't look. My job. <laughs> you're not their demographic. <laughs> my job on this podcast is to give my opinion of things. <laughs> and like, this is my opinion of it. And, to be, and his so job like, is to give an angry care. opinion specifically. Yeah. yeah, I know. I don't no, care who's jo- who is it, who it's for. It's like if someone was giving a gift to someone else, and I was like, "Well, that's a trashy gift to give to someone." Well, Luke, <laughs> it's not yours. It's like, well, well I don't care. What, I'm still allowed to think no, what I think about. I know, about but it. what I'm, but what I'm saying is, is that sometimes I feel like <laughs> you miss out on what a movie is trying to do because you are like, no. This is what they're doing to me, and this is how I feel about this movie. I'm like, okay, Luke, but this is what they're trying to do with the movie. So you have to also look at it from that perspective, and that's all I'm saying. When you say your opinion is totally valid, though. So possibly, I should look at Birds of Prey. I'm not being condescending. I'm actually asking. So Birds of Prey. I know, but that's funny. (laughs) You're saying I should look at it in a different way because it's made for women. No, no, no. And what so, I'm saying is that you should also for women. you should also look at it from that way so you can understand what they're trying to do with the film. You still have your own opinion, but then you realize, okay, because that that's how I tend to be able to enjoy more things that aren't for me. I look when I notice that it's not for me. I'm like, okay, my mindset changes. I'm like, this is not yeah. for me. So I'm gonna look at it from the perspective of what are they trying to do with this movie and does it work? And then I that's how I start to look at right, it. Because yeah, and it's I, not I for think me. that that's a fair point. Like you'll enjoy more things, but I just yeah. have one important point to counter that. People don't <laughs> listen to this podcast because I like things. They listen to it because I hate everything. <laughs> You're right. That's true. <laughs> My friends always, always, they always hate message me like, hey, man, what is Luke wrong about this time? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> I mean, oh, a lot, a lot. We won't get into it, but a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a fair point. I yeah. haven't thought much about it other than it's like, yeah, I mean, I guess most things are for other for some person. Like for the a worst specific movies audience, out there, yeah. someone it was for someone. It's probably some. I thought, but that, that also like, doesn't mean that it's good. It can still be objectively bad and for women and not for Luke. Uh, yeah, true. I mean, like yeah. I, I mean, it's all subjective at to a certain point. Well, there, actually, well, I'll tell you this: like, the there's, movie, there's, there's, oh, go ahead, Michael. It's like I don't, I don't think that was gonna be gonna be preachy. It just looks like cheesy. Like it's like it's like there's like that. Isn't there like a movie about like a bunch of moms who like go rob a bank to get back at men or something like that and then there's like bad like this other movie like literally mm-hmm. homeschool moms going out and partying and just doing crazy stuff like it just it just seems like that kind that of cheesy sounds like a fun movie like mom movie yeah it's it? fun but it's, yeah. it's just cheesy yeah i feel like all movies like, are kind I of the same cheesy. they're all kind of like the kind of comedy kind of actiony kind of it's like the the type cool of movie movie that moms who are 42 drop yeah. their kids off and then yeah. all get together and watch the movie together Moms yeah. with like wine, like puns on their t-shirts. It's going to sell the tickets. That's what that matters. <laughs> <laughs> with wine puns on their t-shirts. You don't talk about it. I thought you were going to say with wine. And then you were like, with wine, <laughs> puns on their yeah, dude. shirts. It's like. Very accurate I have description. This, like, what is a grape? I don't know. It's just like, I can, I can try, I'm actually trying to find something. I can think of it on my top of my head. I'm Googling. <laughs> but like, you know what I'm talking about. You see those moms is like, oh, I went to the gym today. I whined a lot. Actually, I had a lot of wine or something right, like that. Right, like right. it's always something like that. It's like Which, I like. Do you want some cheese with that wine? Never mind. I'll just take the wine or something stupid. Yeah. Something <laughs> dumb like that. So there's a uh, wine uh, away. That lady's gonna. The lady with that but, shirt is gonna go see Harley but, Quinn. Yeah, and the speaking of that, beast and where to find them. I went when I went and saw this Melissa McCarthy movie 
I don't remember what it was called because that's how I didn't bad know too much about it. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. It just it was whatever. Nothing Forgettable. really happened in the movie. Bad for but, shame. Um, it was probably good for somebody else. But it was it was yeah no it was for that audience that we just <laughs> described because those type of women were at the movie and they had a good time i enjoyed the music that was played in the movie they had a lot of good music and i think that's what kind of made my opinion of the movie more i said right. i really like this oh. movie and then i thought about it i was like you know what no i don't i like the music i just but. thought of something you know what other movies are very much specifically for a certain type of person that ever but most people consider them terrible but in, in the right state of mind, people enjoy them. Pornos. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's like, it's for Pornos? someone like they made it for a reason, but it's just oh, like, yeah, yeah, but it's garbage. <laughs> I get that some people enjoy watching this, but if I'm enjoying it, like, or watching it as a film, this is trash. <laughs> so birds of prey. Um, it looks what? better than suicide squad. Suicide, oh, suicide yeah. squad. Oh yeah. Harley actually, Quinn's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Harley Quinn Suicide Harley Squad Quinn. looked good, but it sucked. Let's talk yep. about Margot Oof. Robbie as Harley. She's hot, man. I like Margot Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I mean, she's great. I think she's going to do the character. She's, she's got hot, a great man. personality. There's I nothing mean. wrong with you commenting on her looks. Don't let women fool you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Shane's on hey, everyone's man, side. Like, Shane. everyone do what they want to do. Hey, hey you man, sometimes don't have to do what they want to do. Hey, you call all, that girl hot if you want to. I don't all care. 20, <laughs> all 2019. My friend, I went on this uh, Richmond trip this weekend, and um, it was my friend's birthday. And he had bought this beer the day before, but he didn't drink it. And so he was just going to leave it at our Airbnb. And I said, you're just going to leave this here? He said, do you think it's too early to drink? I said, it's your birthday. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday, and it's 2019. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who cares she if you're is... drinking a beer at eight o'clock in the morning? Dude, she's yeah. great in her movies for sure. Like Dude, Margot she's Ryan. a yeah. year. She's like she's what, what? What year were you born, Luke? Ninety-two. You... Oh, I thought you were ni- nineteen ninety for some reason. I'm ninety-one. Well, I know I'm that I give off. Year. I know that I get. Well, what? What's your month though? For I'm May nineteen May ninety one. So I'm like early ninety two. So early ninety two. You're like M- six, mid ninety three. Like, same grade. Margot Robbie is July nineteen ninety, and it makes me think, what am I doing with my life? She's like <laughs> one, of the, one of the most successful people on earth. You're doing nothing. I know. And I'm just <laughs> sitting here at twenty eight, like hell, Talk, talking into a microphone. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, you're on uh, the internet. It's true. That's hard people, on the internet. Someone's that's, listening to me somewhere. That's a big step above a lot of people. <laughs> so yeah, I, I want to I talk about something that has to do with uh, Margot Robbie, and it also has to do with people saying I hate things and calling me a hater and unfollowing <laughs> me on Instagram. And I'm not going to name names, but there's talking about Luke, person name them, that. call them out. Um. So one of the first things. One of the first arguments I ever had with this person before they unfollowed me, like they unfollowed me like way later over Spider-Man or something, right? Like they oh, unfollowed really? me like, and they just like unfollowed me because I was like hating <laughs> on Spider-Man or whatever. I was really nice. I was actually being really like agreeable when I was talking to him about it. I was like, I just don't think he's what I wanted in Spider-Man to be. And he's like, because you, cause you didn't read the comics. I'm like, what are you talking about? This is not, it was just stupid, they right? They always so, do that. He unfollowed me way later, but one of the first things that him and I got into an argument about was that I didn't think Margot Robbie was really that good as Harley Quinn. Like I kind of just saw Margot Robbie acting goofy and Mm -hmm. it wasn't working for me. Like you remember in the actual Suicide Squad movie, um, what is something she says? Um... She breaks a window and says something. We're like, oh, we're oh, bad it's all cringy, guys. Man. We're bad it's all guys. Cringy. It's what we do or something like that, right? And, and, I, and I just it's didn't. It's all cringy. I didn't feel Ugh. it. Like I was like, Ugh, I'm not feeling mm-hmm. this goofy. Because it's one thing to have a goofy character and it works. Like Joker in, in Dark Knight was goofy, but it worked really well. Yeah. With her, I didn't feel like it's it was working. Nolan. And so I would I say it. it wasn't good. <laughs> I didn't really think it was working. He's like, that's exactly what she's like in the comics. She's goofy. I'm like, I know, but it, but it, not that kind of goofy. Work. Just accuracy it doesn't, doesn't mean translate it, well on screen. Yeah, it doesn't mean it works. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> that was like the first thing we ever argued about. Um, and so I hope she's better because she's a good actress. So I hope she's better in this. That'd yeah. Right. Like maybe she has better lines. Maybe 
It's, Maybe like it, it that. depends on the director. Yeah. Well, Harley Quinn's a hard character to play because, like, usually vil- crazy villains are the easiest to play because you just act like super weird and like you can't really go too over the top. But with someone mm-hmm. like Harley Quinn, she's just like a crazy like punk rock girl. Yeah, you can thing. do too much. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it, it becomes really a really weird like yeah. cringy. I get emo it. Tumblr like, girl. It can be very. Goes, oh, she, I'm so weird. That's yeah. what. Yeah. Could, but if she loses herself in the role, a, it's like it could be so great. Yeah. But it. But that's it's a thing, huge that's demographic thing, it's a tough role, Right. It's a tough role yeah. to, to do. Just look at Jared Leto Joker versus Heath Leather. What's the difference? And it's like a lot. But yeah. the big thing is when you see the Joker in the Dark Knight, you see the Joker. You don't see. Whatever Heath Ledger, that Heath Joker. Ledger movie was with the girls. Right. What's that movie? Ten, ten days Night's or Tale? something, whatever. Uh-huh. Or that, right? You don't see that guy. You see a, not, you see a character. Mm-hmm. But then when you see Jared Leto, you just kind of see a guy who's like trying to act like a character. Yeah. With you a know? stupid tattoo. Yeah. That's Gosh. method acting for Sleep you. Uh, <sighs> cinematography looks good in the, in the <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah it's uh, true. That, that it does come good. out good. in February, which is not great. But it could this be is okay. gonna this is gonna be an interesting film for everyone involved because it seems like it's a brand like I don't know the writer, I don't know the director, so we'll see. But yeah, they Alan have McGregor like some looks directing. fantastic in it. Which is it? Who's he playing? I didn't he's great. He in there. Oh, I was hoping he, he played the Joker. Good. Well, Black I Mask, I Joker. guess, is part of the Harley Quinn universe, but I don't know who that is. Black Mask, anyone? Uh, is that no, is no. that who he's playing? That's his character, yeah. I don't know. I don't know uh-huh. who that is. He, he looks BA, dude. New and I don't know. That's I don't all know, that matters. I don't know how he Sell manages those tickets. to stay the same age every year. <laughs> but. It's called Money, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> money keeps you young. Wasn't he in that money. movie where they had like a clone, the island? Maybe he <gasps> actually had a clone. Because <laughs> this Apes. dude never ages. I know. Some of these people, you know, the force just keeps them together, you know. Boom. He looks the same. <laughs> no, I'm Money serious. You, he looks the same since he did Star Wars. Yeah, it's pretty it's yeah. pretty wild. Okay, so we are coming closer to the end of this podcast, but we did have one more topic yeah. call uh ugh. going way off anything. topic. I literally almost oh, yeah. said it. the topic is called and I was like, What am I doing? The topic is You still have mono? Death oh. from mono. Oh. Just kidding. Death from vaping. What? There it oh, is. No. So what is this? I don't know anything about it. All I know is I went to see a metal show last week with my friend playing in a band, and a mom was there, and she kept telling everyone to stop vaping <laughs> because they were going to make <laughs> holes in their lungs. Wait, and a mom I don't, was there? Huh? Yeah, because it was a mom <laughs> from from one of the one of the guys playing came to see his show. Yeah, we love concern. But moms. she like walked around and was like. Telling people to stop vaping because they were going to make holes in their lungs. Is this real? Like, okay. what's going on? So, so, I mean, yes, it's real to a certain degree. But there's a, what way is it real? You don't know what's oh, in that vape. Holes. That's All the right. problem. Well, people so people Nick, are... Don't you vape some? I vape some, but I usually don't vape like uh, these e-cigarettes or these jewels. And these mm-hmm. disposable e-cigarettes, sometimes you don't know like what chemicals or materials you're actually inhaling. Mm-hmm. And so it's concerning, but it's also the accessibility aspect because now as you got like teenagers who are like 12 vaping yeah, doing with jewels stuff. and it's just like, they go crazy with that. And it's like, wait, that's actually not good for you. Cause there's nicotine in there. Yeah. And because they're so young and now they have access, it's the access. That's the problem. And so the, mm-hmm. the thought, the thought is let's ban them. And so kids will stop smoking them but i'm like that's i don't think that's how yeah. it works so, so wait, but, but people what's happening, are what happened dying. is the kids are getting hurt had like black market stuff yep so yeah, if yeah, you yeah. ban wait, them then you kids just go on the black market explain. to get more stuff so what is happening luke is that <laughs> uh, as of now 17 people have died from a vaping related illness um and it's coming what the researchers have found is that they um it's coming specifically from a certain type of vape it's like those large i don't this like one of those, the larger ones i don't know what it's called exactly and it's coming from products that are being bought on the black market which first of all people come on Stop buying things on the black market. It's kids doing stupid web. stuff. Stop yeah. you breathing can easily, in things. You can easily get any of the things that you want 
from me not doing no. that <laughs> not from me no never uh, <laughs> but I you can your easily supplier. get that stuff from like safer places so it's not, if it's not at walmart just don't get it exactly <laughs> and and it's so not from that, china don't so get that's it. what's happening <laughs> so um when four people had died from this trump wanted to put an immediate ban on e-cigarettes and close down the entire industry because he was concerned for our youth and he didn't want our youth to die which i was a little confused about just based on some other things where things happen and people die that he seems to not care about but i'm not getting into that (laughs) Uh, um so yeah yeah so that's what's happening right now and so a lot of people have been hospitalized i think it's like 805 people um, have been hospitalized. What? Why due is this to all this illness out of nowhere? Where? I don't. Like, people have been I'm smoking vapes for like ten people, years. Long time. People die every day, Luke. I, I know, know, but all of a sudden, it's like eight hundred people are in the hospital for vaping, and it's like, how did did the timer run out? Why, no, why are they Jules all in the hospital became, all of a sudden? Jules no, became cool. I, what I'm assuming is that yeah, Jules is. I don't know about that. So stuff, Jules but, is a um, brand of I know about e-cigarette. It, but, like, I don't know. Yes, Jules is a brand of e-cigarette. Yes, yes, exactly, yes. and it's very, no it's very, dis- it's very disposable and cheap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but and people. And when did it become a big thing this year? Last the last, like few last years. year, because yeah. I I knew a couple. I met a couple of people. Where I went to a concert with them, and when <clears> I tell <throat> you, they inhaled out of that thing about a thousand times each, and I was like, "What are you guys doing? Like, it's a jewel." I'm like, "Well, what is that?" They're like, "It's like an e-cigarette." And I'm like, "You're just." going ham on this thing <laughs> and they buy yeah. multiple and they're always just <laughs> i'm like yo y'all are kind of a little crazy with these uh, type of things so um there's a really new product too so a lot of people don't know like the long-term effects which i guess you know we're yeah you gotta consider to that kind of yeah it's literally ex- at the exactly on. 10 year mark everyone goes yeah. to the hospital at the same time <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like so it's like september there was a graph cigarettes. i saw it and it was just like pfft. So what's worse? Is it is it cigarettes worse or e-cigarettes? I think cigarettes are, are still <laughs> cigarettes worse. Cigarettes are still worse, yeah. But are you my sure? thing is what what people don't understand about vapes, I think, and e-cigarettes is that yes, it's a it's a good like alternative, but, but it's cigarettes still, everything don't has kill to be in you moderation. in ten years. Like cigarettes, yeah, they tell you faster. Honestly. No, they. Well, what happens way people, no, well, people vape. They tend. They tend to vape. People like, vape way more. They vape more excessively. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they like, vape excessively. People just vape way all the time. Just vaping. But you, when you smoke cigarettes. You, sp- you smoke like right in certain times of the day. So I can't handle it. Like, yeah. It's more spaced out. I'm yeah. almost wondering if it's better. I'm almost wondering if it's better for people to smoke cigarettes because it's harder to smoke cigarettes. At this point, like it's worse for you. So you smoke less. I'm serious. You can't just be in the library just puffing out cigarettes. But if you have a vape pen, you can just keep going right so i asked my friend this i actually discussed this like really quickly last week and said they were talking about the vapes and so i was like so is it more dangerous to smoke a cigarette or a vape and he responded with they're both bad and i was like i know (laughs) thank you for that but if i had to pick one or i would die which one would be a better (laughs) choice and he goes neither and oh I was like, goodness. cake and poison like are both bad for you. But if I had <laughs> yeah, to choose one, you know what I mean? Like, choose. which is worse? At the end of the day, cigarettes or cigarettes? Well, you at first the end of the day, stop being that guy's friend. Because he's <laughs> cigarettes, are cigarettes, cigarettes are worse. Cigarettes are worse. We all know that. How do you know people, that? Because they are they have way more chemicals than all the crap that comes in the vape pen. Vape pen's very straightforward. Doesn't have the same yeah. smells. So you're and there's a reason for that. The e-cigarette is worse because they just smoke it all the time. The every yes, it's yeah. still but full of nicotine, and you're putting smoke in your lungs. But doesn't the, that make it worse in a way? Well, well, like, so it like, makes it look, worse for dying. So like the same the same <laughs> amount the same amount of vaping compared to the same amount of cigarettes. Cigarettes are worse, but people vape. They tend to vape more. I get so, it. Like, but, but think about it. this: like cigarette versus cigar, which is worse? Well, the cigar uh, is actually worse, but the way you smoke a cigar and the less frequent you smoke cigars, it's not as bad. Yeah, right. Well, that's, right. I feel like that's a so different the chemicals question. are the chemicals yeah, and filter is worse in a cigar than a cigarette. Just like a cigarette's chemicals yeah. and stuff are worse than a so e-cigarette. It's the opposite. But an e-cigarette with gives you the ability to smoke yourself to death. Yeah. 
So, so it's the same that, thing with the movie thing. Like the, the vapes are not worse, but if you are yeah. stupid and you don't monitor yourself, it's then how you, you kill yourself it. faster. It's how you use it. Yeah. I don't know it's anybody like, who like, vapes that doesn't puff it every two minutes. seconds. Yeah, right. that's, like, problem. That, that's why you're more likely to die in a car crash than a plane crash. More can go wrong in a plane. I mean, but you ride a, in a plane like once a year, maybe for mm-hmm. like normal people, but you drive every <laughs> single day. So this, right, statistically, yeah. you're going to die sooner. Like right. I'm more likely to die from a toaster than I am a shark. Oh, well. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> um, sharks are worse. So, um, the vaping thing. So, when I first learned about like va- what vaping was, and they're like, a lot of people were saying, you know, it helps like with their anxiety and like helps them like whatever relieve stress and everything. And I would watch as they would continuously smoke out of these vapes. And I'm like, you seem more anxious every time you smoke this vape. I'm like, why are you smoking it so much? I thought I was supposed to help you. Like relieve stress. Like yeah. if it's relieving your stress, you're not gonna be huffing and puffing, <laughs> you know, every two minutes or whatever. Like, that's not true. helping you. Yeah, it's true. It's just it's, it's just a, bad a crazy habit. addiction. Yeah, and and these kids, yeah, they don't they can't they don't know better. They, they think they, it's cool. They're dumb. Yeah, they're I mean, dumb. For they sure, cool. I, I will say that that no matter what it is, having kids on nicotine is not not cool. You know, like no kids, bueno, they, kids. I don't know how you can stop no, it. Thank you. Like those um. Even just like the weed pens well, you that people can raise have the age limit, are like the but. size of my pinky. It's so small. Like how in the world are you ever yeah. going to not? Kids will always find a way to get something that small. Of yeah, course. It's so easy. There's no way to completely stop it. They don't it smell. They don't smell. They're band. easy to hide. Yeah. They're convenient. I, you gotta, I, I, I told you. Be careful. Just be careful. Just hiding Everything your in, in your pocket. So Ruji and I were talking about um, like the future and okay, relax, everybody relax. Okay, we're not even okay. close. No to one was. Well, he said like, <laughs> let's say like we stay together. Eventually, we get married and we have kids. And I was just oh thinking about. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? <laughs> I said so. I, we were talking about how you know when we were younger, when we were like originally thinking we we're gonna get kids, like back when we were, weren't even dating and stuff that. I was like, yeah, of course I'm going to have kids. My parents had kids. Their parents had kids. I'm going to have kids. That's the way it's going to work, right? But now that we're getting older, it's just like, oh, man. There is so much stuff that I don't feel prepared to deal with that kids have access to now. Like mm-hmm. a phone, the internet, like the whole internet. The now <laughs> e-cigarettes. All of it. And like Netflix and like all these, just all this stuff. And then, and then Snapchat and social, like, or like social media in general, all their friends will be using it. So like for me, I'll be like, oh, well, no, it's not good for you to have a smartphone yet. You're 11, but all their friends will have a smartphone. So I'm like, that's just, yep, they're gonna be weird. How, how in the a, world let them is, be weird. I, go, I know, I love. get it. But, be but then weird. they're just going to find a way. I don't know. There's a yeah. certain like, let them be weird amount you can no, restrict your kid until life. they'll just rebel, you know, I think. Mm-hmm. And so it's like if I make sure my kid doesn't have a smartphone and I lock down their internet and I don't let them watch Netflix and I don't let them relate to their friends in any way because I take all that stuff away, they're going to just flip their lid and go steal mm-hmm. stuff or use their friend's stuff or something. And so I have to give them a little bit, I think, while being restrictive how do you know what to give when every parent is like, you're one year old, here's an iPad. You don't know until you try. <laughs> yeah, that's another well, conversation. That's just what it is. You Those are the kids yeah. that I go see of, Joker. I can, I, can give a whole, I can give a whole <laughs> um, TED talk on kids and parenting and what they should be doing, but that's a different podcast. So. Or what they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. The other I day, lecture, you I lecture vape, parents every day, so. Vape your juice, watch your Jokers, and have a Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> watch your jokers yeah. vape your think, juices yeah i think the 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 theme of this podcast is just you know be smart don't be at an the idiot end of the day, yeah. Yeah. At, the end of, things. at the end of, i was like You're, what, what luke face. said at the end of the day what the luke the said day, you have oh. to be your own parent <laughs> take yeah. care of yourself yeah i was just saying at the end of the day you're responsible for you and you're your own parent one day and <laughs> no matter what anyone says or what you say, it's your life. And so and we're all part of the same to, ocean. And we're, okay. And well, in this big boat. Well, you know, we're all in the same ocean. 
That's <laughs> not what this is called. Yeah, no, we're on this. We're new, on the same uh, ocean together. Spin-off. On this, yeah, this is the rebranding. <laughs> All right, let's stop this episode. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. Me Nick, too. why don't you start the plugs then? It's uh, Sweet, 7 p.m. here. Uh, my name is Nick, and my channels, as usual, I love drumming. Uh, no G, I love drumming. All one word. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm actually off of YouTube right now. I'm planning on re-releasing the channel and rebranding it as something a lot better. What? I'm going nice. to hire video editors. I'm going what? to hire Ooh. graphic design artists. Uh. What? For my channel design. Wait, I, oh, and I'm going to make the YouTube an official <laughs> thing. Wait, I had a video. I don't it's know like, any I video do editors. Do you know any video editors, Luke? <laughs> I don't Luke know any. Luke is like, uh, what do you edit? What video? Oh, wait, can you not tell us on the... Tell me well, later. If, well, if I... Fi- you can say it no, off the podcast. No, no, no. It's, it's like filming me doing drum stuff. But Damn like, it. I could always send you the film, I guess. But yeah, then again, I'm probably going to hire the same guy to do film and editing. Yeah, it makes more so, sense. So fly out here to Colorado, Shut Luke. Up, Michael. I mean, if he's good, it, if he's good, it makes sense. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael's like, yeah, that's probably a good idea, Nick. Don't hire Luke. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> hire this guy. Hey, anyway. Sh- quiet. Luke. Okay. That's it. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, let's go with Michael. Yeah, just follow me on Instagram. Michael Demas. M-Y-K-O-L-D-I-M-A-S. Um, and follow my band, Key Centric. We're about to start doing some more stuff. Whoa. Um, it's also on Instagram, just, started, just Key Centric. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. I've, I've already been in this band for a while, but we're before it was kind of one guy and his project. We were kind of help, we were kind of helping him out with it, but now it's kind of becoming more of a like group project. Yes. So we got cool. a lot of stuff in the works. So follow Key Centric on Instagram. It's just K K E Y and then C E N T R I C. Like he just it's centered uh, around the a keys. Podcast. Yeah, he just yeah, he just started a podcast. Yeah, hey, Luke is on it. It's called. No, I wasn't. Oh, oh you weren't? I thought you no. didn't you talk to him about something. I saw you posted about something. Uh, I just advertised it because I'm nice. Mike, are you drunk? He, uh, <laughs> well, probably. I basically, so I talked to him at your wedding, actually, yeah, we after the wedding for like 40 Luke's going to be on it probably sometime. So that, listen to that'd it. be fun. Um, but <laughs> oh. I, I basically, you know, he was talking about starting a podcast because he heard our podcast and I was just like, do it, do it. Just don't, you know, it'll be great. I think you'd be good at it. Yeah. And uh, so when he started doing it and he actually released like four episodes, I was really surprised. Uh, I just shared it and said, hey, you know, this guy has started. It's called the Young Creative Hustlers. Uh, yes, it's on iTunes. Sweet. So, oh, uh, hell know, yeah. Check it. Shout out to him. His uh, you know. keyboard, yes. keyboard is in the key centric band. That's what they Yeah. Be. Yep. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. So, uh, Shane. Hello. Um, you can follow me on Instagram for all the great things that I'm doing. Mr. <laughs> McCaddy, MR. M C C A T T Y. Um Yeah, follow my Instagram. That's my plug. I feel like all <laughs> social media is dying. Even YouTube is dying. Like I Well, no, I, I, I very mean like, rarely watch any more channels. I just go to my recommended page and just pick stupid videos about minimalism. <laughs> Dude, those YouTubers suck, man. They just talk they try to take turn any like random thing that happens in their field into a 10 minute video well 10 yeah, minutes like video because youtube so screwed everyone, everyone and they changed everything so no one makes any money from anything anymore you know they, they have to adapt so I all they forgot do is, to say, is information videos what yep. did you forget to say no i i forgot to say um i do have a website that'll be coming soon hopefully Ooh, yeah. it'll be next week <gasps> that's i i hope Ayo. we'll see but um so like i said my instagram will have like all like my updates and um and whatnot and everything so just check my instagram whoa okay so my plugs first of all you can follow this podcast on instagram at w-a-i-t-s-b podcast that's where we post about the episodes ask questions and run polls, all the fun stuff. If you want to be a part of our family, <gasps> that's where you do it. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at Luke Roxwold. That's L-U-K-E-R-O-C-K-S-W-O-L-D. That's where I post everything that I'm doing. Haven't posted anything on YouTube. Haven't posted anything on Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat. I deleted my Snapchat. <laughs> Everything's gone. It's just, yeah, it's just I, Instagram. But yeah, I did want to say me. I posted my first vlog in over a year. Ooh on Ayo. Instagram. So if you go to my IGTV, as the cool kids say, you can watch my whole video of me flying to California with Ruji 
and then flying to, uh, so we went from Seattle to San Diego to LA and it's a whole video of all the places we did and it's really funny. Um, a lot of you guys don't know my girlfriend yet and so if you want to see her be hilarious, that's where you do it, that video. Check it out on my Instagram. So everybody, thank you for being on the podcast. Listeners, thank you for listening. Yeah. I'm listening. Like Fraser's yes, thank crane, you guys right? so much. You know what he says? I don't know what else to say. Don't vape. Uh, good night. Or do. Love you. Yeah, stay alive, um, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Joke is great. Enjoy yeah. it. Survive the rest of the decade, please. Survive the rest of the decade.